15 things you didn't know about Vanguard Group. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we're revealing some unknown facts about the investment management group that has been dominating in the investment industry ever since they came to the scene over 40 years ago. Let's talk about the Vanguard Group. John C. Bogle, often referred to as Jack, graduated from Princeton in 1951 and immediately was hired by the well-respected Wellington Management Company. About 15 years later, he became the president of the company and was named CEO in 1970. When a merge with another fund management group ended badly, he was fired from the position in 1974. Bogle has said that he was embarrassed, yet grateful for the firing, because if not for that, there would have been no Vanguard Group. Bogle was able to start a new fund division at Wellington named Vanguard in 1975 and established the first Index Investment Trust. Growth was slow to begin with, but accelerated in the early 80s. Additional funds were offered, including the first bond index fund ever offered to individual investors. During the 1990s, Vanguard became the largest mutual company in the world. It continues to be the largest provider of mutual funds and the second largest provider of ETFs or exchange traded funds. They are headquartered in Malvern, Pennsylvania, a suburb of Philadelphia, and they also have offices in North Carolina, Arizona, Australia, Asia, and in Europe. They currently have over $600 trillion in assets. The Vanguard Group is unique in that it is structured as a mutual company, meaning that it's owned by funds managed by the company and therefore is owned by its customers. This gives the customers a greater possibility of growth due to the lower fees and it makes it more difficult for other funds to compete. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. The Vanguard Group is a dominated force in the investment industry, and we know many Aluxers count on investments to help build their wealth. So let's take a closer look at this revolutionary company with the 15 things you didn't know about the Vanguard Group. Number 1. The percentage of mutual fund industry assets they own has doubled in the last 17 years. Vanguard currently owns 22% of mutual fund industry assets, a percentage which has doubled since 2000 when they only owned 11%. They added 350,000 new accounts in both 2015 and 2016 just of individual investors who wish to purchase their mutual funds directly through Vanguard. Number 2. Fans of Jack Bogle are called Bogleheads. There is a group of people who absolutely adore Vanguard and the founder, Jack Bogle, in particular. Fans of Jack Bogle affectionately call themselves Bogleheads, and the group started forming at the very beginning of the company's founding. The group started as a forum where members discussed how to save more money, plan their investments, avoid mistakes, and retire worry-free. And now they've become a cohesive community that refers to Jack Bogle as Saint Jack. In 2009, the Bogleheads created their own website called Bogleheads.org, and the site currently gets more than 16 million page views a month. Number 3. Vanguard is growing faster than all the other investment groups combined. From 2013 to 16, the more than 4,000 firms that comprise the mutual fund industry took a net of $97 billion. Vanguard, on the other hand, took $823 billion from investors in that same time period, meaning that Vanguard brought in about 8.5 times as much as all of their competitors combined. Number 4. Vanguard is named after a British warship Jack Vogel was given a book about Great Britain's naval achievements that featured the warship the HMS Vanguard, which was built in 1787. Vogel thought this would be a great name for the fund division he was working to develop as a part of the Wellington Management Company. Initially, the Wellington executives did not like the name, but it was narrowly approved after Bogle reasoned with them that Vanguard funds would be listed alphabetically next to Wellington funds. Number 5. Vanguard has more than 20 million investors worldwide As of the end of 2016, Vanguard boasts of more than 20 million investors who are located in around 170 countries worldwide. In 2017, 9 out of every $10 invested in the United States went through Vanguard. Number 6. There is an annual Boglehead Conference 
The idea for the annual Boglehead Conference came when a group of avid Vanguard investors who met through the Vanguard Diehards Forum met at the Miami home of Taylor Larimore. And now the annual conference is a major event in the investment world, and Jack Bogle himself often makes an appearance. The 2017 conference was held in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and sold out just five days after the announcement was made at a cost of $275 per ticket, with Jack Bogle as the special guest. Number 7. The company's first fund was almost cancelled due to not meeting expectations. The first index investment trust, which is now called the Vanguard 500 Index Fund, was the company's first fund. It was incorporated on December 31, 1975, and it raised $11 million in its initial public offering, failing to meet the expectations that it would raise $150 million. The banks that managed the public offering suggested that Bogle cancel the fund, but Bogle refused. The fund now holds over $183 billion in assets. Number 8. Jack dubbed Taylor Larimore the king of the Bogleheads. In 1998, Taylor Larimore was one of the founders of the Bogleheads community at the Vanguard Diehards Forum on Morningstar.com. Larimore, who turned 90 in 2014, has led an interesting life that has included being a World War II paratrooper, a scuba diver, a life insurance underwriter, a revenue officer for the IRS, and a director of the Dade County Housing Finance Authority. He also won the Biscayne Bay Sailing Regatta on his 90th birthday. He first discovered Bogle in 1986, and his portfolio improved dramatically when he invested with Vanguard. He soon became the leader of the Boglehead movement, as many looked to him for investment advice. He was the co-writer of the Boglehead's Guide to Investing and the Boglehead's Guide to Retirement Planning, and he has written tens of thousands of posts on the Vanguard Diehard Forum. So it's no wonder that Jack Bogle calls him the king of the Bogleheads. Number 9. The Naval Influences Go Beyond the Company's Name we mentioned that the company's name was inspired by a ship, but Jack Bogle took it a step further than that. Much of the company's culture shows naval influences. For example, employees are called crew members, the gym is called ship shape, the cafeteria is referred to as the galley, and the company store is called the chandlery. Number 10. The company received a perfect LGBT inclusion score. The Human Rights Campaign does an extensive review of companies' policies and culture regarding the LGBT population and assigns a score on a scale of 0 to 100. The Vanguard Group was included among an elite list of companies that received a perfect score of 100 on the Human Rights Campaign's Corporate Equality Index. Other companies that have achieved this include Coca-Cola, Ford, Marriott, Walmart, Apple, and General Motors. If you'd like to check out another well-known company that received a perfect rating, click in the upper right-hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Apple. Number 11. Jack Bogle regularly donated half of his salary to charity. Jack Bogle has a net worth of around $80 million, which is much less than his counterparts in the investment industry. This is due partly to the business model of the Vanguard Group, and partly because of his philanthropic endeavors. While he was the CEO of Vanguard, he regularly gave away half of his salary to charities, especially to fund scholarships for the Blair Academy, a private high school in New Jersey that Bogle attended on scholarship, and Princeton University, where Jack attended college. Number 12. Bogle was forced to retire at the age of 70. Vanguard's company board implemented a mandatory retirement age of 70 for the company. Although Bogle agreed with the rule, he didn't necessarily think it should apply to him. When he turned 70, he argued that the creator of the company deserves a tad of extra consideration when it comes to the retirement rules. However, no exception was made, and the company board required that he step down in 1999 when he turned 70. Vogel still stays involved with the company and runs a research operation on Vanguard campus, and he especially enjoys engaging with the Boglehead community. Number 13. The Vanguard Effect Has Saved Investors Over $1 Trillion the so-called Vanguard Effect refers to the way in which the Vanguard Group drives down costs across the investment industry by influencing their rival funds to lower their fees in order to better compete. One analysis found that over the history of the company, the Vanguard effect has saved investors a total of $1 trillion, and the estimated savings for their own investors since their founding in 1974 is over $175 billion. 
Number 14. They move about $20 billion a year in revenue from the financial industry. One Bloomberg analysis determined that Vanguard's index funds take away about $20 billion per year in revenue from the financial industry. It's clear that the passive investing made popular by Vanguard has significantly affected Wall Street's revenue. Number 15. They manage assets totaling more than $4.2 trillion. In 2013, the assets under management at Vanguard passed the $2 trillion mark, and just one year later, the assets under management passed the $3 trillion mark, in part thanks to Vanguard's fast-growing international operations. By 2017, the total number of assets under its management was more than $4.2 trillion. Now that you've learned more about Vanguard Group, we'd like to know, have any of our Aluxers used this investment firm? Let us know in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. The average daily inflow at Vanguard is $740 million, and Vanguard's traders put as much as $2 billion a day into stock, which is 20 times the amount Vanguard was investing daily back in 2009. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers! Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.